Hello everyone! This is my morning face, and this is my channel. Welcome back. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get myself together and we are going to do a workout. Um, if you're anything like me, it's been hard to stay motivated over during this whole quarantine thing. And I honestly think it's just like from a lack of routine. I don't know. Like I don't even have like a, like a super like regimented routine because my schedule is different all the time because I coach and waitress. So like I'm just like all over the place different hours of the day, but still I have to like get up and get moving and I have like more things to get done. Um, and I don't know, it just feels different. And I also feel weird like taking pre-workout when I'm not doing a gym workout. I don't know, but today we're gonna do all the things that we're gonna get motivated. So first things first, when you wake up and you're brushing your teeth and you're putting in your contacts, if you're blind, like me, um, you have to put on some pump-up tunes. So let's do that. It's really hard to... What do we want today? You know what? I haven't listened to some Posty in a hot second, and I love me some Posty. So let's start there. can't hear Posty because we gotta play these no copyright songs. I'm sorry for that. I know you would be in a better mood if you just heard Posty too. Mr. Malone, as I like to refer to him. However, um, I'm already in like a much better mood and I'm already like really excited to fuck shit up. You know? Okay. I can see further than right in front of my face. Let's go eat some food and drink some caffeine. Fuel us. Here we go. bought a white monster yesterday and didn't finish it. And it's not clearly not gonna taste as good, but this is what we're going with. Gotta work with what you got. Alright, here we go. It is go time, baby. We are going to do a 15-minute EMOM. So EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. What that means is you're going to have a specific exercise and you're going to have a specific rep number that you need to hit for those for that exercise. Once you hit that number of reps, you get to rest until the rest of that minute is up. 
So it's up to you. You can either pace yourself and take the whole minute and then just not really have a rest, or you can go faster, go harder, try and complete them so that you have a longer rest period. That's usually what I like to do, but I pace myself a little bit because if not, we die and then we can't finish the workout. So um, I'm going to go over the exercises first, show you guys what they're gonna be like. I'm gonna have a whiteboard in the background. Hopefully I can prop it up so you can still see it. So it'll give you a reminder and I'll try and say what exercise is coming next. I'll probably write it on the screen too. And then I also am going to have a timer back here that's gonna be counting down the minutes. So like I said, just give me minute after minute, you will just have that like notification that the next minute is coming up and that's when you start the next exercise again. Um, I'm gonna also link that timer that I used down below. I usually use one on my phone, but I wanted to do the computer so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna link that in case you guys wanna use that. And yeah, here we go. All right, so we're gonna go through each exercise and then I will demo them. So we have 10 sumo squats to jump squats. Uh, that's gonna be with one dumbbell. Number two, we have eight on each side, reverse lunge to a one arm press. Uh, one dumbbell also for that. Number three is going to be eight inchworms to a dumbbell jumping jack press. One dumbbell for that. Number three is going to be 20 alternating one arm dumbbell swings. So for that, it'll be like 10 each arm, 20 total. And then last but not least, we have eight burpees to dumbbell press. For that one, um, I'm going to show you there will be a push up with it. You can take the push up from your toes, from your knees, or you can start with the push up. And if you start to get a little bit tired, you can always take out the push up and just jump back to the plank position. And that's what we have. Let me show you how they go. All right, so my head might get cut off for some of these. So exercises one through four, we only need one dumbbell. It's just the last one that we need two for. So exercise number one is gonna be the sumo jump to sumo squat to the sumo squat jump. So we're gonna do one squat holding the dumbbell and then the jump squat you drop the weight for. So one sumo squat, go down and down to drop the weight. This is where we explode up to the top for the jump. Then we grab the weight again. For those of you that don't know, sumo means our feet are wider than you normally would be for a squat and our toes are gonna to be pointed out more. It's gonna help target the glutes a little bit more. In that squat, keep your chest up. We shouldn't be hunched over. If you hinge a little bit at the hips, that's fine. But back needs to be flat. But try to fight to keep that chest up as much as we can. Exercise number two, we're going to be doing a, we're gonna have one dumbbell reverse lunge with an overhead press. Use the power from the bottom of that lunge to drive you up to get that dumbbell overhead. The more power you take from the bottom, the lighter the dumbbell is gonna feel at the top. So. This is gonna be a left leg reversing back with the right. So you're gonna have your dumbbell and the arm that is opposite of that front leg. So I like to keep my arm out for balance. You do what works for you. Reverse back right here, take the power, right up overhead. I'll show you from the side as well. That back knee isn't stepping so far back that we're in like a straight leg lunge. The back leg should be at a 90 degree angle, only about an inch from the ground. Here, up here, up. 10 on each leg for that one. Exercise number three is going to be an inchworm to a jumping jack dumbbell press. So you're gonna keep the dumbbell between your feet. Normally on an inchworm, your feet are a little bit closer together, but for this exercise, we're gonna have them wide apart. An inchworm is basically crawling your hands out. You wanna tap a little bit past what a plank position would be, and then you crawl them back up. You're gonna to wanna to be nice and fast on these inchwormers, inchworms so that we can get the full sets done. The inchworm and then the dumb, dumbbell jumping jack press is gonna make one rep. Try and keep your legs as straight as you can when you're climbing out into that inchworm, that way you get that additional stretch in the back of your hamstrings. If you need to bend your legs a little bit, go ahead, this is your workout, do what works for you, but try your best to keep those legs straight. So, it's gonna look like this. Inchworming out, I hope you can still see me, I'm tapping a little bit past plank position. Grabbing this here, see how my back is flat? I'm not rounded. Make sure your back is flat. Stand it up, feet are wide. Jumping them together up overhead, right back down. I'm gonna show this from another angle, just so that we can see. Really don't know if you saw me there. I guess I'll go this way. Sorry, I my butt's in the camera, but I just wanna make sure you guys can see the whole thing. So, climbing hands out, see I tap a little bit further than plank, 
Drive it back in, back is flat, grab the dumbbell, bring it up first, then jump, press, right back down, back is flat on the way down. We're not rounding. Protect the spine, fam. All right, number four. Alternating one arm dumbbell swing. So this is kind of like a kettlebell swing if you've ever done that. This is a hip hinge movement. It's not a squatting movement. It's a hip hinge. We do bend the knees a little bit to get some power, but we're hinging at the hips, which means you're kind of like floating in half and you're pushing your booty back. Back stays flat. And then we're driving those hips together, squeezing at the front, doing that ugly grandma butt squeeze to tighten up that posterior chain and get some of the work flowing there. So it's gonna look like this. So we have the one arm. If you have a regular dumbbell, it might be easier to keep your palm facing this way, but because mine's nice and thick, it ain't going through those legs. So I'm gonna hold mine this way. Do what works for you, depending on what you're working with. So swinging it back, driving those hips forward, switching the hands at the top, and right here. The more you drive from your hips, the lighter this weight is going to feel. If you have a kettlebell at home, you can do that with this as well. Last but not least, we have 10 burpees to press. We need two dumbbells for this. All right, so dumbbells go down. We're making sure we're safe, especially if you have wobbly dumbbells like myself. Jumping those feet back, push up, push it up, tuck those feet in. See how my spine is neutral, I'm not curling over. So back is flat right here. Standing it up, then we curl, press, back down, curl it down, right back into it. We can always step it out if we need less impact here. You can take out the push-up if you need to. You can take the push-up from the knees if you need to. This is your workout. You do what you need to do to get it done. I want you guys to make sure that you're not just swinging everything up here because we're trying to go fast. We should be standing it up with good form, curling, hammer curl with good form, press with good form, back and down. When we're pressing, just a note, we should be going right up overhead. So see how my shoulders are basically right by my ears? So we're not out here. We're not behind us. Our back isn't arching. Our core is engaged. Think belly button to spine. It looks like I have an arch in my back because of my butt, but everything is tight here, right up overhead. I'm tired from uh, showing you the exercises while talking. So I'm gonna take a sip of water and then we're gonna get going. Uh, make sure you guys have your water. I'm like bending down. Make sure you guys have your water close by. Grab it as you need it. Sip. Don't chug. Hopefully you guys are already hydrated so you can sweat a little bit and be okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna get going. Find the body of, body of, yeah. Caught her look and she wants it back. She's firing up that body of, yeah, yeah. You think that I want you, but not now. Nah, nah,
Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it pause the video in between rounds or whatever you had to do no shame we are all at different fitness levels I try to make it super challenging that way that somebody who's watching this that thinks like I want to think it's too easy might think it's too hard you can adjust it based on your current fitness level I encourage you to do this again in a week or two keep working at it see if you can get better maybe you had to pause it three times See if you can only pause it two times a time after, or pause it for shorter amounts of times, or get all the reps, or whatever it is. Hope you guys were able to adjust it for you. I hope you liked it. If you did, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. That was a hit with dumbbells. We can do resistance band. We can do more strength training. We can just do core. If you guys like the 15 minute ones, obviously that was like super aggressive for 15 minutes. If we did a longer one, there would be more rest time, more time to recover, maybe simpler exercises, whatever it is, that way that it's more doable for everyone. Comment below, let me know what you would like to see. As I said, I'm gonna drop the link for this timer that I used um, on the computer. I'll also um, give you details about the one that I use on my phone. That way you can watch this on the computer and set the timer on your phone. I'm gonna try and set sound effects to the video. I'm not that great at editing, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm done rambling. I'm gonna go have some food, probably a protein shake, because I'm hot and I need something cold and we need to replenish. Please go get some protein in, some carbs, some fats, lots of water, fuel up. Love you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. To the right, nothing can stop me. Nothing can stop me.